hello from New York City. Now, I am not usually here in my hometown. I'm usually abroad. I've spent the last couple months and longer term years uh, traveling. This year I was in Ireland, I, then I was in France and several other smaller surrounding countries, but I'm back home now because I'm releasing music. My new single, Choosing to Stay, came out today, and tonight we are celebrating with a very special single release show at one of my favorite venues here. It's called The Bitter End, and I am so excited. So of course I will be taking all of you along for all the fun, starting with my last couple of hours of getting ready. It's currently about four o'clock. I wanna be out the door by six to make sure that I get to the venue with plenty of time before line check and the show. So I've unfortunately done a very unclear thing, uh, which is that I've decided that I don't like the outfit I picked out. I wanna go in a completely different direction. And um, we're, we're doing a little sewing, I think. Uh, <laughs> I have this red jumpsuit that I really like the top of, but I don't like the bottom part. So I think we're gonna try, with my mom's help, to cut it into a top and wear it with a separate skirt with two hours before we need to leave. It's all part of the fun. <laughs> all right, so here is the jumpsuit currently. Um, it's just a weird length and not really the vibe that I'm going for, but I really like the top of it. So we're gonna try to turn it into a shirt. It's our first time performing together. So we're gonna do one last run through and then get ready to go. All right, we're doing well. I have an outfit. We've done our final rehearsal. Now I do need to finish getting ready, but I first wanna make sure that my guitar case is all packed with everything I need. I did print some set lists, but the font is kind of small, so I'm gonna reprint those. I have some CDs that I like to sell at all my shows, um, and if you're not coming to a show and you want one, you can get them on Bandcamp, which I've linked in the video description. The other thing that I always make sure to bring to shows is my little email list booklet. Obviously it's great for collecting emails for my mailing list, which you can also sign up for with the link in the video description. But it's really fun because it gives people a chance to write me little notes and like say little messages. It's really fun to read back after every show. So I'm gonna pack all these things in my guitar case along with, you know, capos, picks, guitar straps, guitar cable, backup battery, everything that I need in case of dire situations. just about a four minute walk from the bitter end. If you don't know this venue, it's a really famous historic venue. I've been playing there since I was like 16, which is crazy to think about, but so many famous names from I think Joni Mitchell to Lady Gaga have played there. So there's a lot of history. It's a little intimidating, but it's a great venue. I really like it. here at the bitter end, we've realized that I'm accidentally cosplaying as olive oil from Popeye. It's fine, we're gonna pretend it was intentional and uh, gonna warm up and get ready. Ready 
excited for your bitter end debut. I'm ready for it. All right. Do you think they'll put your name on the wall? I think I'm going to be right next to Lady Gaga and right next to Taylor Swift. I think that's the trio I want to see. Yeah. I, I think I might sometimes play with the two of them. All right. Well, she's available if you guys are watching. Hey, hey don't tell me. Sure. Oh, I'm she's not available. Not she's not available. I just want to thank you all again so much for coming out. It means the world to me. I haven't said thank you enough. Um, seeing this room full of so many friendly faces, it just really is like my favorite thing in the world and like why I do music. So thank you, thank you, thank you. From all the way over there. Oh, hey, touch each other. Oh, from all the way over there and everyone in between. Thank you so much. This is Jesus. It's not It has been a couple days. I kind of just spent the weekend sort of floating through my days because uh, I haven't quite processed just how cool Friday night was. Obviously, it was so special to be back at a venue that I've been playing since I was 16 years old, which is crazy. And to be there with so many friends and family members and people that mean so very much to me, as well as plenty of new friends that I'm so grateful that I got to meet that night. The new single, Choosing to Stay, is out now. I've linked it below, but of course you can find it on all streaming services. The song has kind of secretly been traveling the world with me for the past year. I wrote it when I was living in Berlin last summer. I recorded a demo when I was in Thailand. I finished recording it in New York, and then I shot the cover art in Ireland. So this song has already traveled the world, but now it's out in the world with all of you, which is of course the most exciting thing. So please give it a listen, add it to your playlists, share it with a friend, and make sure to follow me on Spotify because there's much more coming very soon. If you haven't yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do, there is so much on the way. I can't wait to share it all with you. Thank you for your support. I'll talk to you soon. When I'm working on my foreign